In this video, I want to show you the fourth out of five steps that I complete in my weekly review. So you can see here, my little sticky note has notes as number four. And all that means is I want to open up my digital notes app. I use an app called Evernote, which lives right here in the dock. And you can see Evernote is full of different kinds of notebooks where I store different kinds of notes. But what I want to focus on, the only thing that I need to focus on for this weekly review is the inbox, which you can see here in the left sidebar. And the inbox is just simply what's what they call the default notebook. So when you tell the web browser or an email or some other place, send this to Evernote, save this as a note, this is the default notebook, the default place where that note is saved. It's basically a place that you know you can find all the notes you've taken uh, in one centralized spot. So you can see here, there's what, how many notes? Uh, nine notes. Um, that go back about a week. So this is probably actually below average how many notes I would I would save. I'd probably save closer to a dozen or up to 20 notes in a given week. But let's take a look at what I've saved here. So I always like to start just as with email with the oldest item and then move forward in time up to the present. So let's start with this one, let's see. This was having to do with uh, a little project that I have right now which is to replace my webcam with the DSLR camera. It's basically a, a higher end, better, better, uh, better image because I do so many video calls. So what I'm gonna do here is think about how I might wanna use this. How is this useful? Um, so you can see the title of the note here was taken from the first line here. Um, that's something that Evernote does automatically, but I probably wanna change this um, to something like notes on using DSLR camera as webcam. See how that's just a very simple, straightforward description of what this note contains? Uh, and then what I actually wanna do is, this isn't just a note, there's an action I wanna take here. So I'm gonna copy the link by clicking on the note and then saying copy note link. And that, gen and that copies to the clipboard a link, which I can then create a new task using the quick capture feature of things and say, review these notes on using DSLR as webcam. Okay, then I'm gonna hit tab to go to the notes section here, do command V to paste this link, which is the, the link that will take me to this note that I was just looking at and hit save. Okay, so that way I've captured a task in my task manager without having to really do anything special with this, this particular content. So let's see, where should this go? I don't really have, actually I do have a project for this. It's the art of accomplishment. So the, the main reason that we're getting interested in upgrading our webcam game is because we're gonna be launching a new course that's gonna require sort of a better user experience when it comes to video. So I'm gonna get this note, put it in the art of accomplishment, and that's it. Uh, the next one is the plans for another project that we're launching. Uh, which I'll have more to announce soon, but I'm just gonna say container home plans and put it into Fort Shelter. Uh, let's see, here are my notes on uh, upcoming projects for how we're gonna be using ConvertKit, which is our main email marketing software. So once again, I'm gonna copy note link and say review ConvertKit roadmap notes for Q3 planning. Uh, we have a meeting scheduled for Thursday where me and my, my, uh, my colleagues are going to be going over uh, our different goals and planning for Q3. So I'm going to put in notes, a link to that note, and hit save. And then put this uh, probably in Forte Academy, which is our online school. Uh, here's a screenshot that I seem to have saved from Reddit. Uh, so you can see here how it's relevant. There was a poll on Reddit called, how long does your weekly review take? And this was really interesting data to see how long it takes people to do a weekly review. I actually wanted to use this as part of the guide that you're, you're watching right now. So what I'm gonna put here is poll on how long weekly review takes. And then I don't actually have a project notebook for the guide that you're, that you're watching right now. So I think I'm gonna create one. I'll go to notebooks and say new notebook called um, guide to doing a weekly review. Make it private. 
and put it in the project stack. The project stack is just a it's like a it's like a big folder that contains notebooks for all of the individual projects that I'm working on. And you can see now that I've done that, right here on the left sidebar, I have a guide to doing a weekly review where I can store all those notes. So now that I have that, I can just move this there and that's done. Okay, these are a few notes um, about wrapping up the current cohort to our course. Um, and these are things that I need to send to the course manager that I work with, Will. So I think I'm gonna copy the note link and say, email Will final tasks to close out cohort. Put the link and then to save this, there's also a keyboard shortcut, which is control return. If I hit control return, then it saves that task. Um, and then I can put that in the current, the project notebook for the current cohort of the course. Um, this is actually also related to um, review for ConvertKit roadmap. Control enter to save that and put that in Forte Academy. Uh, this is the guide that I'm working on right now and now I have a notebook for this which is the guide to doing a weekly review. So I'll put that there. Uh, this was the email that, if you recall previously, uh, a friend sent to me for, for some market research on the project that I'm working on, the new online course that we're developing. And this is where it showed up. So you can see I forwarded it from my address directly to my Evernote account. It has all the same information that was contained in the email. And what I can do now, I'm still not really in a place that I'm ready to review this in depth, but I can just move it straight to the Art of Accomplishment notebook and now when I'm ready, I have all the different notes on this new course that we're developing all in one kind of centralized place, which is very useful. So back to the inbox, this has to do with my recent uh, interview on the Teachable podcast. So what I'm actually gonna do is copy a link to this note and then go over to Notion um, this is a little kind of a specialized thing that I do, but I have a workflow for all my different blog blog posts and I know that I already have, where is that? Um, oh, here, Teachable Podcast Interview. And I can put it right here as a reminder, oops to take a look at that image and potentially use that image on my social media posts whenever I get around to announcing this podcast interview. So that's all, I can just go back to Evernote, uh, move this probably to uh, Praxis, which is my blog, and that's it. My inbox for a whole week of notes that I've created is completely clear. Uh, one final thing that I like to do, similar with my desktop, is click on the trash and empty the trash. And that always gives me a nice uh, feeling that I'm completely free and clear and my Evernote inbox is ready for a new week of productivity. Hopefully that was a nice kind of demonstration of, of really how quick and effortless it can be to um, quickly file your notes into the notebooks where they're gonna be most useful.